A specialized form of a constant speed change is a special kind of edit called replace with retime to fill. This makes the process of changing the speed of a clip really simple, but it's not intuitive. Let me show you how it works. Here we have some footage from Antics, uh, some nice break dancing that was shot in Rio de Janeiro, first on a train, and then, like all good break dancers, we shot in a cemetery. All right, except this shot is not bad. She's really working hard, but it's kind of not in focus. It's kind of overexposed, and I want to see more of her movement. It's way too much focusing on her face. If I highlight the clip and type Control D as in duration, it says the clip's duration is eight seconds. Let's go to the media section here, and I've got a clip that I've already marked. This is a much better angle, much more interesting because she's concentrating on her arms, much better exposure, overall good. I've got the in and the out mark, type Control D, and I can see this is a four second shot. It's a four second shot going into an eight second shot. I grab the clip and drag it down and notice that the timeline clip turns white. Once it turns white, let go and a menu appears. If I replace, it will automatically replace the eight second shot with a four second shot, starting based upon the position of the in in the browser clip. But the fourth one down is the special one. Notice it says replace with retime to fill. Watch what happens when I take it. The duration of the clip remains the same, but it slows the clip down. Notice the speed now says that it's going at 50%. We go from our full speed train dancer to a much more interesting and better exposed, more visual slow-mo clip of the woman dancing in the cemetery. Now the way this works is, if you have a clip in the timeline and a clip with a different duration in the browser, when you drag the browser clip on top of the timeline clip and the timeline clip turns white, when you say replace and, what's it called? Replace and retime to fill, it will change the speed of the browser clip to match the duration of the timeline clip. If it's longer or shorter, it'll speed it up or slow it down. The cool thing is you don't have to know. You just have to select the option, and Final Cut does all the math for you. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at clip speed effects inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 192. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.